In this video we're going to take a look at how to do RUTs in the MX Simulator editor. And you can do RUTs pretty much by two ways. The first one is use a gradient. And then you place the gradient along the turn pretty much. You just figure out a nice angle that looks like a quite nice angle for a RUT. Then you just extend it a little bit. Uh, then you look at I want to have the rut at this line here so I'm going to raise this a little bit as that should be the highest point of the rut and a little bit further in we should have the starting point for the rut something like that and then it's just how you like to do your ruts if you want to have something like this if you want to have it a little bit down before in the ground and that's just how you prefer to do your own rust. So I'm going to try and paint out this one so I'm going to go with radial add a big radius and then I'm going to one click and I'm going to drag slightly along the rut here I'm going to press U so I update the back buffer and then I'm going to go over to the rut And one thing to notice here is if you have a too low resolution on your track uh, where you have like one terrain dot png pixel is equal to one foot the rut may be choppy the only way to fix that is to change the values the terrain dot hf but then you have to change the shadings and the terrain dot png and all of that so that's something you need to consider before making the track so let's see here it's a huge rut, but it's a nice one, so you'll get the idea. Maybe just go for a little bit smaller one, so I'm going to delete this one. Uh, go zoom in a little bit, so you can see this is about 2.5 feet. That's quite high for a rut, so I'm going to go with a little bit of lower values here. Something like this maybe. We're going to do this again. And just by looking at this, I think that looks a little bit better. And as you can see, this looks a lot more like a rut or berm, berm slash rut. One thing to know is if you are making a rut like this, and if you want to have it curved in before, like, just let's say like this, you want to notice that this part around here should never be in the way of exiting a rut. You should always be able to exit a rut without having a big big trouble with this. Because that's one thing that differs a lot from reality with this game is that this edge is really really noticeable. And the uh, rods can be really hard to ride as well if there is an edge here in the way. But I don't want to have a rut here. Uh, not with a gradient, so I am going to move on to the second method of making ruts Which is a method that I find way better So I'm just going to move away the gradient here And now we want to go into Raise The way we're going to do this is Raise the ground where we want to have the rut So I'm going to show you that right now This is based on a tutorial from Rafagas and he wrote it in the forums and he said that the actual radius of the race is supposed to be around two and a half foot. So this is also a preference if you make a hard pack track, if you're making a soft sand track, um, a little bit like that. But I'm going to go with about 2.8. I like to have them a little bit bigger. Then we're going to have the strength at around minus 2.25 this is also a mixture you can mix with lower and higher values but this is what I'm going to go with so I'm um, let's say I want to have this rut starting here and go all around the turn and the benefit of this one is we can make a rut that goes here 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 not of course our, this rut wouldn't be good but we can make it just because we had the freedom of doing our own shape. So I'm going to start here. So I 
painted this one and that quite messed up. So I'm going to restart. I'm going to start at this point and exit here. What you want to do now is you do not want to start at the same place. So I ended here. So I either want to start a little bit after the ending or before it ends. So I'm going to go with after. And then you want to paint on top of the rat a few times. But the important thing is you do not want to start at the exactly same place over and over again because then you want to, then you're going to end up with a sharp, sharp edge. And the, you should be really precise when doing this. I'm not as precise as I should, so the rut will probably turn out pretty badly. And due to the lighting, as you can see here, you can't really tell where it starts, so you could either put a finger on the screen or try to see or you could do pretty much in a way you want but that's due to the lighting so if you change the lighting file uh, the ruts could pretty much disappear or they could be better but fixing the lighting is probably something you do last so I've now painted the rut a lot of times I'm going to press U so it updates and I can see that the height it's a pretty Good height actually. I'm going to go back and press U once again. A little bit better. And it's actually not a bad height for a rut here. So I'm going to stick with this and pretend that this is the perfect rut and it's super awesome. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to lower. We can set this one to about minus 350. We want to ramp up the radius. So about one more Rafagas says for raise 2.50 low, uh, lower 350 but about one higher or a little bit more so I'm going to go with 395 I think this is good so here I'm going to start to paint the inside of the rut and you want to make sure that the outer line of the circle never goes on top of the burr rut so it did that just there so I'm going to delete that one and repaint And as with this one as well, you do not want to end and start at the same place. You always want to have a little bit difference. And as you can see, I'm messing up this a little bit. Usually I take a lot, lot, lot more time for each rut. But this is a tutorial and you should get the idea rather than me showing the perfect example. And in my experience, you can extend the lower part of the rut a little bit further than the raised one because then you have like a smooth line to exit on. But as, again, it shouldn't be too, too low to exit the rut at any given time. And as well as it could start a little bit before. And let's say you pretend that this is a turn where you're extra hard on the acceleration uh, at this particular area so you can paint a few extra times around this area to make the impression that the bike has been given more gas here and dug deeper so I'm going to update go out to the editor press update once again and go into and I don't know if you can see it but I can see there's a slight lowering here and I think it's more visible here and this is how to make ruts. So basically just have a low value to raise up the outside, then lower the inside. Of course, you can do take something like smaller one, a little bit higher strain, then take smooth and smooth the outside of the ruts not have any sharp edges. Also in Rafagas tutorial, he said that he usually paints the top of the rut, but uh, I think the ruts are pretty sharp as they are, and especially if you're using a low res ground, you will notice that the ruts are just getting choppy and edgy, and that's really not too good. So let's save here, so this rut gets saved, and that is how to make ruts. So either you use a gradient, and that's very limited in the angle, or you use this raise and lower method, which I think is the preferred one. So I hope you find this video helpful, and see you in the next one.